good fellas, one of the question I get asked most is what's the difference between a ball point and a rollerball? And today we're going to describe these two kind of writing types and understand what's the difference actually between the famous ball point and the rollerball. Let's start with the ballpoint. Why? Because the ballpoint is actually an older invention. The ballpoint was invented by Laszlo Biro, an Hungarian inventor, back in 1938, and it was meant to be a cleaner writer than the famous dip pens or fountain pen. It was a revolutionary invention because finally you could write without having to fill up inks, to get dirty, and so on. And what's the point about a ballpoint? The name already says it a bit. It's a ballpoint. Therefore, there's a ball on the top of the tip and inside you have an ink that is a paste. So it's oil based which is different than how the rollerball is made. This is the most famous refill you can find and a lot of writing instruments actually are fitted with this so-called Parker type refill but obviously there are brands like Caran d'Ache who created a ballpoint like the Goliath one which is its own kind of paste and therefore perform in a completely unique way. Ballpoints usually come in blue and black that's for sure if you go at Mont Blanc, you have a wide range of colors. Also, Caran d'Ache now also has green, red, purple, and turquoise. So one of the important peculiarities of a ballpoint is the fact that it usually doesn't dry out. And I can tell you, I have ballpoints that are 20, 25 years old, never used, but they still write when you write with them. So the cool thing is the fact that you either have a click system or a twist mechanism to action the ballpoint and you go and you can just write with it. And the writing experience is less fluid than with a roller ball. So the writing experience is really more, you have pressed a bit more, but it also gives you more grip on the paper. There's just some people who find this more comfortable because you just twist it or you just click it and you start writing with it. And this is a writing experience by its own. You actually also see on paper, there is a difference between how the ballpoint writing looks and how the rollerball writing looks. On the other end, in 1963, the Japanese company Otto invented the rollerball. Now the rollerball is a water-based and gel-based ink, which is much more fluid. So what was the idea? It was to mix the sensation of the fountain pen together with the facility of a ballpoint and have a writing experience that would be smoother but would also be very very easy. Rollerball have become super common. Usually people love rollerballs because again you don't have to press too much. It's very fluid to write with and it really gives you a bit of that primary feeling of writing with a fountain pen and also the pen itself it's just a bit more elegant. It's less you know a daily tool and it's more something where you you know you take off the cap you start writing you pull the cap in, it's a bit more of a momentum. However, both pens have its own peculiarities, their own reason to exist, and therefore it's also the reason why we actually need both of them. Usually the refill in rollerballs are also pretty standard. Caran d'Ache, Otto Hoot, Faber-Castell, they all use the same kind of size and shape, which is a good thing to be honest, because then you can just go and buy it wherever you are. Mont Blanc has its own kind of rollerballs, so these are the the Grand Rollerballs, which are a bit bigger, which come in F, in M, and in B. And also they have the smaller one for the Classic, which comes also in this package. Actually, the Rollerball refills, you always have to buy from Mont Blanc because they have their own shape, their own size, and therefore you gotta go to a Mont Blanc boutique or at an outright retailer like we are and purchase the refills for your Mont Blanc pen. The good thing about Mont Blanc is the fact that they have different kind of colors. Actually, I'll tell you something. Usually brands try to to stick with black and blue. But I have seen that Schmidt has created several kind of colors like purple, like red. So I will try to get those here at Style of Zug and hopefully brands will start to dive deeper also into beautiful colors when it comes to ballpoints and also when it comes to rollerballs. So to quickly recapitulate, if you want an easier kind of writing experience where you just have to twist or to click and you want to write and you want to have more grip and maybe add more pressure to your writing, then go for a ballpoint. If you want to start having the feeling of a fountain pen and you love the act of, you know, opening up or unscrewing the cap and you want a more fluid writing experience, then rollerball is going to be it. 
the ball point has an ink paste while the roller ball is a gel and water-based ink which is more fluid i'd like to know from you which one you personally prefer you're more a roller ball or more a ballpoint type of guy let me know down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget that together we are changing the game